Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're given a scatter plot which is showing the number of grams of both total protein and total fat for eight sandwiches on a restaurant menu. And we're given the line of best fit for this uh, data. And we're asked, according to the line of best fit, which of the following is closest to the predicted increase in total fat, which is your y value, for every increase in total protein, which is your x value. So let's just take two points on the line. So let's say we take the total protein is 10 grams and the protein is 20 grams. Let's keep the numbers easy. What is the fat for these values as expected by the line of best fit? Well, for 10, we see our line comes out to about that point right there for x is equal to 10, which if we try and find the y value of that point, it's just under 20, let's just call it 20. It's not really, if we call it 19.5, right? The numbers are gonna be a lot harder to deal with. So the fat is gonna be 20 grams. And for the protein is 20, so the fat is 20 grams when the protein is 10. When the protein is 20, that is gonna to correlate to this point right here. Again, where the line has the point x is equal to 20. And then finding the x value of that halfway between 40 and 30, let's call it 35 grams. So when the protein increases by 10, the fat increases by 15. Okay, so if we're looking for the protein increasing by one, that's gonna be this increase divided by 10. So 15 divided by 10 is 1.5. So we can think of this as when we're going from 10 to 20, we're going, we're increasing by 1.5 10 times, right? So it'd be 10, 11 and a half, 13, or sorry, um, we're increasing by 1.5 for the fat. So 20, 21.5, adding in 1.5, 23, adding another 1.5. And we do that 10 times and then you get to 35. So what is the predicted increase in fat for every increase in protein? 1.5 C is gonna be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.